just woke up and um today we're going to be doing some exciting things excuse my wild hair to get out of the ponytail because i was getting a headache yesterday so but i'm going to be doing some wedding stuff i'm going to be updating that with you guys um because i've done a lot actually um i've already made i made my um save the dates myself to save some money and I think they came out great and I'm not gonna keep rambling and I'm gonna make wedding invitations like the programs today and I'm going to also be doing the reserve seat things just to get them all already out the way and um, probably print it off as well um, I gotta go back to my parents house to grab my printer and bring it here to my apartment so yeah, I'm not going to keep rambling, and here's the video of me telling you about my save the dates and the process of making them. So, I just made mine and my fiance save the dates. Um, it's a cheaper way to save money on your wedding um, if you are if you don't have a, t a really big budget. I don't mind telling y'all the budget that I have. I have a $10,000 budget, So, um, but we're trying to minimize as much spending as possible. Um, because we do have to think about a honeymoon as well. So split honeymoon cost and wedding cost. I'm looking at 5000 each. So um, a thousand of that has already went to our venues. We got a really good deal on our venues and I paid for my dress. Um, because I paid for my dress myself. I actually won a Visa gift card, two Visa gift cards. One was $100 and one was I think 100 or $75. And I actually ordered my wedding dress online um so that's what i did but that's what it looks like online i just made it and i just printed them out this is what they look like i'm in love like just can't like just can we not like i love it um i do have our um this is my date i'm going to go ahead and reveal you reveal it for you guys um this save the date and then november 15 2019 and we was thinking about doing it this year but he's getting redeployed so we have to move it back but this is what it looks like. Um, I have just regular old cardstock, white cardstock, and it is four, four and one fourth by five and a half. So um, I got it from Walmart. Just ordered it. It's really really cheap. And this is what my save the dates came out looking. And gonna see if they fit and um, in the envelope that I have. And I have to send them back through the printer. I have a Canon, so very good quality. Um, I'm just going to put a formal invitation to follow. And go ahead and um, put them up in the envelope and everything. So I did make this in Word. If you have taken a typing class or computer class, you will learn how to do all this. I do know how to work in Excel really well and Microsoft anything. Microsoft, I know how to work really well. So thank goodness for that. Um, but if you guys want me to show you how I created this, I will um, do a whole video on this for you guys. Alright, so as you guys know, um, I'm pretty sure I haven't addressed this on my YouTube. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this on my Instagram. But um, if you have been watching me since the beginning of me getting engaged and me making the video, I'm showing you guys my engagement ring and all of that, you would know that I don't have the same engagement ring no more mainly because the job that I do is very very corrosive to metal um, like it ate through my ring and that's how strong the chemicals are and um, so my ring was severely severely damaged he um, was nice enough and I'm grateful for it to buy me the like a second ring that looked just like my previous engagement ring before it got destroyed and um he was just like we're gonna have to get you a better ring um so you can wear so it in the sense became my destructive do whatever you need to do ring um but once he got back from deployment um he actually went and surprised me with a new ring well a new bridal set um 
I actually picked it out myself. I didn't know that we was going to um, go pick out a new ring for me because I had um, just went and ordered a cheap old ring just to have on my finger because I had gotten used to wearing a ring on my finger. So that's what we did and I will probably insert pictures here but it just depends. Alright guys, so I just got done painting my nails. It's the next day. It is December 16th, I think. And I just got done painting my nails, waiting for my deep conditioner to set. I leave it in for typically all day when I'm off, when my hair needs to be washed. This is the Color Workshop French Beige Polish with, and it has like little glitters in it. And then for my accent nails, I actually use the LA Colors um, Color Craze with hardeners and it's sparkling diamonds and I just have my nails I have to clean them up once all right you guys so it's a little bit later now and I just made my um, wedding inv invitations um, this is the layout and the wording um, I'm not going to scroll all the way down because I do have um, information on here that I want to keep private for privacy reasons obviously so it just says together with our parents and then it says my name and my fiance's name and it says our marriage Friday the 15th of November 2019 at 2 o'clock and I made this all in word I did download this font this is the autumn november if you look up wedding fonts online there there are plenty for free and they're able to be used for personal use and you can download it so and i just you know extract it and put it in word and i made this whole thing the border um i did it five by seven so i can have a little little wiggle room and i'm gonna print this out and do my whole invitations with this but i just wanted to show, come on here and show you guys so if you guys would like to see a detailed how I made my own wedding invites because I'm doing everything down why I did my save the dates and I now I'm doing this I gotta do the additional information RSVPs and all of that as well but this is what I did so far I just want to show you guys and want to end this vlog and say good night and have a good holiday and Merry Christmas